and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is find the first node of loop in linked list which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given the node head of the linked list okay and what we have to do we have to basically return the first node of loop in linked list first node of loop in linked list if there exists any loop in the linked list but if there is no loop in the linked list we will simply return null okay all right let's quickly understand this with the help of an example so here we can see one three two four five and then five's last pointer is again pointing to this third node this three node okay all right now it means there exists a loop a loop basically means ki we will not be able to reach the end of the linked list there is no end of linked list because here we can see 3 2 4 5 and then again 3 2 4 5 again 3 2 4 5 in this way we will keep on traversing infinite times because there is a loop okay so we have to return the first node of loop first node of loop basically means that node from where the loop is connected that node where the loop is connected okay so here this is the first node of the loop because again iterating over all the elements again we reach back to three again we reach to three okay so that's why this three is the loop and we will simply return this node okay all right but if there is no loop in the linked list something like this one two three four and then null okay so here there is no loop and we can simply reach to the end of the linked list in that case we will simply return null okay all right very very easy it is till this point and uh, yeah this is what the problem statement is all about and i think it will be very very clear to you like suppose there is a linked list with one two three four six and then six next is again pointing to three so here it means this three is the starting point of the loop because like first three like the last node is again connected to three so three is the starting node and we will simply return this node okay all right so i think the problem statement is clear now let's think of the approaches which are coming in my mind one by one the first approach which is coming in my mind is basically to use a hash set hash set or set I think it exists in all the C++, Java, Python everywhere. So we will simply use a hash set and what we will do, we will first of all put 1 into my hash set, then I will put 3 into my hash set, then into I will put 2 into my hash set. In this way we will keep on putting and also checking if that node is already existing in our linked uh, hash set or not. So 4, no, 4 is not present. 5 no 5 is also not present in hash set add it and again after 5 again i will move to 3 so is 3 present yes 3 node is present in the hash set so it means there is a loop and this 3 is the first node which is duplicate so we will simply return 3 pretty simple pretty basic code is this and uh, if you want to submit it it will be accepted as well but here we are using some extra space and we should optimize it because we can solve it without extra space as well okay next solution which is coming in my mind is also very simple what i will do i will simply look here if you will see the constraints here so node data can be is always starting from one basically means it can never be negative okay it can never be negative what i will do is pretty simple i will simply keep on iterating over all the nodes of linked list and i will change their data to zero so this is zero then this is zero and I will check if I get any node with zero, it means that is the entry point. Okay. Again, I will go to four. No, no zero, five, no zero. And again, when I reach back to here, oh, I have got zero. I have got zero. So we will simply return this node. But this solution will not work because I have lost the value. I have lost the nodes value, data value. So this solution will not work and we will get wrong answer. Okay. All right. So two solutions I have discussed in which one is correct one and one is wrong. Okay now the most optimized solution is with using floyd cycle and i have already explained what is that in the previous video as well let me quickly explain you again so what i will do i will have two pointers slow and fast slow will run two times slow will run once and fast will run twice slow will run once and fast will run twice and if at any point my slow and fast pointer are pointing to same node 
slow and fast pointer are pointing to same node it means we have got a loop it means we have got a loop because look slow is running slow is uh, let's say incrementing one node at a time and fast is incrementing at two node at a time so if at any point they will meet it means ki yaar slow fast and again fast from the last node again it moves to any first node any starting node then in that condition only at any point slow can be equal to fast otherwise slow can never be equal to fast because like if you remember if you know na ki like suppose i am running at a speed of 10 km per hour and usain bolt is running at a speed of 50 km per hour so can we meet at any point no we cannot meet at any point until there is a circular track until there is a circular track so in that case we can meet like depends on ki how many rounds he has completed but there is a probability but if the rounds are not circular we can never meet okay all right so if we can never meet it means that there is no loop and we will simply return null and if at any point we meet it means there is a loop and now we have to find the starting point of the loop we have to find the starting point of the loop so how we are going to do that let quickly see um let's suppose this is my link list 1 2 3 4 and then 5 okay and then this 5 next is again pointing to 3 okay all right so this 3 is the starting point what i will do let's suppose this much distance is d let's suppose this much distance is d okay all right and and after that like slow and fast will be at any point equal then only it it's a loop so now let's suppose slow and fast meet at any point let's suppose 5 5 i am not saying it will meet because it depends but 5 let's suppose 5 so how what many how what distance d will cover d will cover d distance and plus x distance let's take this as x let's take this as x distance okay all right and how many distance fast will cover fast will cover this d distance okay and now look fast might have to com complete many cycles of this many cycles of this fast have to complete before uh, like meeting at with slow many cycles it has completed let's suppose it has completed n cycles of l length let's suppose l is the circumference of this cycle so n into l cycles total cycles it has completed and then again x distance it has completed so something like this okay there is no equal to at this point so this is the distance slow has covered and this is the distance fast has covered okay all right but if you remember slow is running once and fast is running twice like means fast is running two times the slow okay so if at any point i will multiply the slow distance by 2 it means ki it is now equal it should be equal because twice of slow distance is equal to fast distance okay all right now this is correct so what i will do this d plus x will be cutting with d plus x one time and now what i will be having uh i will be simply having let me delete all the okay so let me write it here i will be simply having d plus x is equal to n into l okay and after that d will be equal to nl minus x nl minus x in this way this is my expression okay and we have to find this node d they what's the distance d okay so what i will do look if i will start at any point from 1 and i will keep on adding like again and again so nl will be at any point like fast uh, now let me delete all these things let's quickly write d is equal to nl minus x this means ki yaar if i am having one point at the any at any point where we are meeting slow and fast pointer are meeting and any another pointer which is currently at head so if we keep on adding them one by one at any point this d will be equal to nl minus x basically means x will be also adding and d will be also adding and at last when both of them are meeting at any point let's suppose from here to here d and from here to here uh, let's suppose till this point it was x okay so if i remove this x from here so it means 
we will get the starting point so what i will do i will keep on add, having two pointers first one will be at this point another one will be at this point and they both will be exceeding one one now they both will be incrementing one one now and when they will meet it means that is the starting point of the loop okay i think it will be very very clear to you with mathematical expression so yeah let's quickly move on to write the code for this but before that if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video because it will really motivate me a lot and uh, yeah that's it let's quickly write the code so i will have two pointers node slow is equal to head and also fast is equal to head very very simple and now while fast not equal to null and then fast dot next not equal to null. okay very very simple because we are incrementing fast two times so that's why i'm writing this here so that we can simply increment it now slow will be incremented once slow is equal to slow dot next okay and fast is equal to fast dot next dot next okay all right and at any point if my slow is equal to fast it means we have got a loop it means we have got a loop now what i will do i will simply update my slow is equal to head slow is equal to head okay now what i will do while slow not equal to fast i will simply increment them both one by one slow is equal to slow dot next and fast is equal to fast dot next okay and when they both will be equal if you remember d is equal d is equal to nl minus x so if d will cover d distance and x distance fast will cover so we will have got the meeting point we have got the meeting point and i will simply return either slow or fast okay so because that is the meeting point and uh, slow is equal to slow dot next and at last here we will simply return null basically mean if i will come out of this while loop at any point we have reached to the end of the link list and we will simply return null because there is no loop present okay all right so yeah that was it let's me quickly try to compile this and guys please comment down any thriller movie if you want to suggest me i'm actually looking to watch it over the weekend slow so please comment down any web series or movie and i think it will get accepted as well yes it is getting accepted please subscribe the channel and like the video if you have loved the explanation and i have made a very cool chrome extension for you with which you can watch the tutorials on this screen only instead of moving to youtube and watching it there so the link is in the pinned comment make sure to check it out i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye